Hi y'all, this is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen, and today I'll be making you all some red beans and rice. And I learned that there's three ways that you can cook your uh, beans. I never cooked them before. I went on the internet and I looked and I checked it out, you know, different ways you can cook it. And I decided this is an old dish, so it's how I would cook it. So I, how I think the old people cooked it in them days when they didn't have all of that season and stuff. I know they probably used fresh vegetables. But like I said, it's three ways. You can buy it out of the can. This is the easiest way. These are some dark kidney beans. You can buy them out the can. I, I don't. I think this this is the easiest way and a simple way. But I think it's the less. I think it might taste the less, the best taste. Okay. The next thing you can do. I got some kidney beans. You can soak them overnight. I don't. You can soak them for overnight. Put them in there at night and soak them. I don't like that way neither. I think. You know, I think you take everything out of them that you need to get, the ingredients and the proteins and stuff you need to get by soaking them. I won't do that. What I would do, I would cook it like I think that the old people cooked it. And the only way they knew how to cook it, I would treat them just like they're pinto beans. I would cook them the same way I cook pinto beans, but I, like I said, I never cooked them before. But I think it would take less uh, time than pinto beans. Okay, I'm going to get back with you with the ingredients I'll be using. Okay, you all, here's the ingredients I'll be using. I'll be using some Uncle Ben rice. I always use them. Start with that Uncle Ben rice. I'll be using some chicken broth. I also will be using pepper. I have some salt. And I'll be using the Creole uh, original season. I'll be using some of that. And a little sugar for my beans. I have, these are my vegetables. I have red, white, onion. I have some, uh, I have some green onions also. I have some green onions. I have a green pepper, a red, and I think this orange is not as, I'm gonna treat it as orange. And uh, I have some fresh garlic, and I have some um, uh, uh, jalapeno pepper, hot. So, and here's my sausage that I'll be using. I find I love these sausages. They're Sun Farm brand, you know, applewood smoked sausages. And I'm gonna put these with my, uh, and I'll be seasoning that. Those are things, and I'll have some ham hocks. Like I say, I'm gonna cook, but I'll be cooking these beans with some ham hocks. And these are things I'll be using. And as I introduce them to you, I'm gonna show you how I name, name the season. Again, I'll be putting them, and I'm gonna tell you, I introduce everything that I'll be putting in them. Okay, hi y'all. Okay, I'm back. I'm introducing my, um, get the first thing you should do is cook your kidney beans. Now, I don't know how long it takes these to cook. Like I said, it's my first time. Like I said, I'm going to treat them like I do my pinto beans. Here's my ham hocks. I wash them and clean. I have three ham hocks. And the skin, I might, I don't want to use. So I'm just going to use the inside of the meat. And I'm, my main purpose of this is to season them. I'm going to take my uh, kidney beans and put them in here. They wash. And that's the water coming in washed. I'm going to pour a little... Uh, chicken a broth in you know you don't have to and the reason i'm just going to season it with this just a little bit because i'm going to use water and the reason people do use chicken broth because they are have they either soak their beans and they don't have no juice or they tuck it and use a can so then i can eliminate the chicken broth i can use only water but i'm using it just to get extra flavor so I'm going to start with my uh, onion. I'm going to just cut some onion. It don't matter what size you do because, like I said, these are these going to cook so long. Two, uh, they're going to cook about two uh, two hours, I think. So I'm going to put them. It don't matter the size. They're going to cook away. Don't waste your time. I never cook a uh, vegetable big. I mean, when I'm cooking, boy, I never uh, do them small. So here's some green peppers. And these are things that I put in my... Uh, Pinto beans, like I said, I'm going to treat them the same way. And you know, on the side of my pinto beans, I always have some boiling water. And I hope I don't have to put in the water in here and put these in here. Okay. And I'm going to put these garlic in just like they are. I had about 12 cloves and put them just like it is. And I'm going to put these uh, peppers in them. These season my pinto beans, they're going to make that stuff really good. Okay, I'm going to put some peppers in here. And I'm going to pour, I got chicken broth. I'm going to put some water in here, okay? Because I, like I say, you, most of you cooking, if you're not cooking your uh, pinto, uh, your kidney beans fresh, uh, then you can use uh, the broth. But I, I'm using water. And 
I'm gonna put some more sugar in here just a little bit. I always put that in just a little bit. See how much I'm putting in here? And I'm also gonna put some pepper. And it's gonna let this cook for about. I'm gonna check it in an hour and a half because I don't want I don't want my water to go out. All my water to go out. My juice. Put some pepper. And I'm gonna put just. A, I'm not gonna put as much salt as I do pepper. The meat has sodium in it, and also. The broth has a little sodium in it, so I'm gonna pour a little bit more broth in here, and I'm gonna let this cook, like I said, for an hour and a half, and check them, check on them. And I, like if I have to put some, I'm gonna put a little bit more water in there to cover. You really wanna cover your meat. And like this, so this all go in there. You're gonna check them, this is enough for your, you're gonna season, you're gonna taste them, and see how they taste, and they should be good. Let them cook a long time, and check out, my pinto beans and see how I cook those and you would love it. Cook these the same way as I'm cooking that. Okay, I'll get back with you in an hour and a half. Okay, my kidney beans have cooked. You know, I look, see how good they look, the juice in them. And, and I see them like pinto beans and they're so good. They soft and they're ready to go. And my next step, I'm gonna let these cool down a little bit. My next step is to do my sausage. And this is what I, I'm naming the ingredients, I'm sorry. I have pepper. This is some red pepper if needed, some salt, some Creole season original. Here's some fresh garlic, chicken broth. Here's these fre fresh bell pepper. These are uh, red peppers, red onions, yellow onions, green onions. And here's a jalapeno pepper. And I use, like I told you before, I use a Sunset Farm brand smoked applewood smoked sausage. And they are good. And the first thing I'm going to do, I cut them off uh, on camera. They're bite size. I'm going to put them in this cast iron skillet. I'm going to fry everything in my cast iron skillet because it seems to make grease. I don't like to add grease on camera. Let me make some grease and I'm going to after I get some grease in here, I'm going to put my some of this cook and then I'm going to put my vegetables in here. In the same grease. Let's see if this is cooking. Get back with you. Okay, now here's my uh, kidney beans. They're good to go. And the next step I had did, I cooked the kidney beans. This is the second step. I uh, 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 fried my sausage. Make sure you get some good sausage. These are very good. And let them brown crisp. I didn't use no oil in them. I let them make their own grease. And I cooked them in a cast iron skillet because that's kind of, I like that. Now I'm going to try to see if I, I, I hope I don't need any uh, grease for this, uh, for my vegetables. I don't like to use a lot of oil unless I have to. If, they, if you need to make, if your sausage make enough grease, then don't use none, but I don't know. I might have to put a lid in there. I'm going to try it. Now, sausage brown, that's how you want to look, golden brown. First thing I'm going to start is with my garlic. I'm going to put this and let that cook a little bit. I might have to put a little oil in here. I hope not. There's my garlic. And all these vegetables are going into the, the kidney beans that I cooked. And I might have to mash. I also got some my ham hocks. Once I get this started, I'm going to start my next step. Put a little oil in here, just a little bit. I'm going to put all these vegetables in here, just a tap of oil. Get me some oil. Okay. To cook my vegetables with. First thing, I'm starting off with my garlic. Let them get a kind of golden cook. I might have put a change of skillet with this one. It's going to get kind of golden. Next thing I'm going to put is some, okay, I'm going to put my green peppers in here. Because once, uh, once these uh, cook, you're going to put them, once they brown a little bit, you're going to put them in your uh, green peppers, let them cook. I'm going to put the red onions. I introduced all of them to you in the beginning. And here's some red. Um, red peppers, those are green uh, bell peppers, and I'm gonna put some yellow onion here. I'm gonna let all this cook, let it brown a little bit, and it's going into my pot, into my uh, beans. A little cup of oil, and I'm gonna cut it down low so they can cook. Okay, you see this meat that I cooked my uh, my ham hocks. I'm not gonna let this go. I'm gonna cut this off and put it in here. 
you know, that's what I season my uh, beans, kidney beans with. I'm gonna use some of this meat. See how this ham hock is? I'm not gonna let it go. I'm gonna put it in there with the sauce and it's gonna be so good, y'all. Y'all might not never ate it like this, but I just believe that's how the old people, when they cooked it, that's how I think they cooked it. Cause I know it was good. And I'm gonna cut these up and I'll put this in here in the, uh, my navy bean. I mean, God forgive me, my chili bean. Three types of bean, kidney bean. Okay, so I good my vegetable look. These are all the vegetables I use. I introduce them to you. They saute the good enough. So I'm gonna finish cutting this meat off and most of this, I'm gonna take the skin off. I'm gonna get rid of the skin, you know. I'm gonna just fuse this meat and cut it off, put it with the sauces and for some good flavor. And I'm gonna get back with you when I cut this off. Also, wait, I also have these, uh, these beans that thicken it up. I took out the beans, I forgot to say that. I took it, thicken them up, and all you all gonna do is smash them up good. This in order to make it, you know, thick, thicken up. So you don't have it to pour, but you don't need it so thick because you're gonna add rice, you're gonna serve this over rice, so it don't have to be too thick for these kidney beans. I finally got it right, <laughs> these kidney beans. Okay, I'll be talking fast sometimes. I can't hardly get the right words out. Okay, I'm gonna finish this process and I'm gonna, and my beans are smashed. You just take them and smash them up with a spoon. I use this little thing, this little handy thing, and I use this. Okay, I'm gonna get back with you. Okay, here's the rice I cooked off camera on the side. And the first thing I did, you remember I cooked my beans, my kidney beans with ham hocks and stuff? Here's the ham hocks that I cut it off the bone and put that in there. I'm not gonna throw away this meat. I'm quite sure this is what the old people used to do. I don't think they had no sausage. I'm, I'm quite sure they used the same meat that they used with their kidney beans. I really believe that. And so, now I'm gonna put these in here, see how that looks. And then the next step thing I'm gonna put in is the vegetables and the sausage that I cooked. I'm gonna put these in here. Put all of that in there. See how good they're looking already? I'm going to put that in. No, they look good, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. So I got that in there. And the next thing, I'm going to start seasoning. If I need a little bit, I'm going to put some pepper in here. I'm going to taste it, too. I'm going to put a little pepper in here. That's all you need is some pepper. And the only thing I didn't have was a bay leaf. And I, I couldn't, I didn't have, and I thought I had some. I'm going to put a little of this uh, red pepper in here. Okay, just a little bit in here. And I'm going to taste this and see what I need. And I'm going to put a little, uh, if I need chicken broth, I'm going to put a little of this Creole season in here too. Some of this Creole season in here. Make it Creole. That's going to be good, y'all. I can tell it. Red beans. I'm going to let these little onions and stuff cook in here. All these vegetables cook in here. And then let, uh, once it cooks for about 30 minutes, I'll be finished, and if I need, let me see, I got everything. I got my uh, Creole season in here. I got my hot pepper. I got my uh, black pepper, and I, I didn't put any salt. I'm gonna let this cook for a while, and if it needs to be thickened up, I told you about, I smashed my beans up. I'm gonna put these beans to thicken it up, and I think that's all you need in them. My first time cooking some uh, red beans and rice, and it looks so good. I'm gonna let this cook, like I say, for about 30 minutes until the flavor of all the season and the meat and the sauces and the ham house go season with these, uh, the, with the, uh, the beans. And I'll get back with you all when it's finished, probably about 40 minutes. Okay. Hey right, y'all, this is the finishing touch of my red beans and rice. I'm gonna tell you a trick. Don't have them so dry. Some people say they like to take the, uh, the water, I don't have it so wet because the rice is going to consume this liquid. Just um, just so the next day, if, if you t have it dry, the next day don't have enough juice in it. It's going to get so thick until it ain't going to act right. You're going to have to warm it up so much in the pot. So I, I suggest just leave a lot of liquid in there like this. See how good that look, y'all? Don't that look good? This is my, here's my beans in it and my sausage, my ham hocks, my vegetable and stuff. I'm getting ready to put this on a plate and I'm getting ready to serve it. Thank you all for tuning in to Maddie's Kitchen. Picture of my red beans and rice. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. The rice is under there. And like I say, if you like this video, tune into my next one. I'm going to 
get, I'm going to cook probably the next time. Like I said, no, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> here it is. And here it is in the pot. Like I said, thank you for tuning into Maddie's Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Make sure you share this with friends and family. And tune in to look at all my videos. Like I said, thank you and have a great day.